ข้าพเจ้าได้ออกจากเงินในวันเวลาสามโมงแรงข้อวันที่สี่เดือนเก่าสวรรษ์เจ้าสองเพื่อที่จะไปเฮ็ดเวียกอยู่สามเหลี่ยมทองคําการเฮ็ดเวียกแมนเฮ็ดเวียกสิบหกสโมงสามมือตองได้เปิดบินเถอหนึ่งถ้าเฮ็ดบอได้กะเอาเสือกเล็กฟาดเอาไปฟาซดสุดท้ายนี้อยากปอกเตือ้อนมูสหายนุ่มหน่อยทุกคนอย่าลงเสื้อผู้อื่นโดยง่ายมีสติระวังตัวโดยเฉพาะเมนคนแปลกหน้าที่ส่งข้อความสักส่วนไว้เวียกจะได้เงินเดือนลาย The Lao youth who sent RFA these videos was one of dozens taken from his home in Luang n a m t h a r province. Not to the Golden Triangle as he had hoped, but to a secret site on the Thai-Burmese border, where victims of human trafficking are hidden away. In Myanmar, teens as young as 14, lured by fake promises for jobs at glitzy casinos, are being forced to work as cyber scammers at gambling sites in remote areas. They are run by criminal syndicate groups, often with the help of local militias. Locals told RFA Burmese that the militia pictured here, the DKBA, controls the area where the youths are held. They denied involvement in trafficking. Thais were going out of Thailand because it's illegal to gamble in Thailand and go into these places. Uh, they were also places where, for instance, uh, groups of Chinese were flying from mainland China, you know, to go for a week-long gambling vacation or something like that. The reality was that there was these ongoing operations doing this gambling stuff, and then all of a sudden, COVID hits. Casino workers and others were going, leaving, going home because, of, of course, the casinos were closing and things like that. And the syndicates decided to, to, to change their business model, and what they came up with was uh, scamming. The families of Lao youths trapped in Myanmar who spoke to RFA said their children were being held here in this remote area, 20 miles south of the border city of Mia Wadi. They call the site Casino Kasai. The remote region has been swept up in violence in Burma civil war, with some of the heaviest fighting taking place in the area. This has made it hard to police and allowed criminal groups to operate with impunity. Teens said workers are being tortured and held against their will, and shared images of their gruesome conditions with RFA. Many are still trapped, with authorities reluctant to help, according to victims who have contacted RFA. Sadly, uh, across Southeast Asia, there is both enormous corruption of law enforcement forces linked to their weakness, uh, but also indifference. Meanwhile, parents are desperate to get their children out.